Georgi Zamfir. Georgi Zamfir, born April 6, 1941, is a Romanian pan flute NAI, musician. Zamfir is known for playing an expanded version of NAI, of 20 pipes to 22, 25, 28 and 30 pipes to increase its range, and obtaining as many as 8 overtones additionally to the fundamental tone, from each pipe by changing the embouchure. He is known as the master of the pan flute. Zamfir came to the public eye when he was approached by Swiss ethnomusicologist Marcel Salier, who extensively researched Romanian folk music in the 1960s. The composer Vladimir Kosma brought Zamfir with his pan flute to Western European countries for the first time in 1972 as the soloist in Kosma's original music for the movie Le Grand Blonde avec un show sur noir. This was very successful, and since then, he has been used as soloist in movie soundtracks by composers Francis Lai, Ennio Morricone and many others. Largely through television commercials where he was billed as Zamfir, master of the pan flute, he introduced the folk instrument to a modern audience and revived it from obscurity. In 1966, Zamfir was appointed conductor of the Siasurlia Orchestra, one of the most prestigious state ensembles of Romania, destined for concert tours abroad. This created the opportunity for composition and arranging. In 1969, he left Sias Erlia and started his own Taraf, small band, and in 1970 he had his first longer-term contract in Paris. Zomfir discovered the much greater freedom for artistic adventure. His Taraf consisted of, Ion Dragoi, Violin, Ion Leishanu, Flutes, Dimitri Farkash, Taro Gatto, Petre Vidrian, Double Bass, and Tony Yordake, Symbolum, all number one soloists in their country. This Daroff made some excellent recordings, CDs on Fira Paris. He changed the composition of the band soon after, F. de Bodoka, Violin, Marin Chizer, Flutes, Doran C.I.O. Baru and Parvel Sebzon, Clarinet and Taro Gatto, Petre Vidrian Bass and Pantelimon Stinga, Symbolum. It is said that this change was made to increase ethic command of Zamfir and have more artistic freedom. A turning point was the recording of Zamfir's composition Mess Pour La Paix, Phillips. His Daroff joined a choir and a symphonic orchestra. This was evidence of the growing ambition. While the Phillips recordings of that time were rather conservative, Zamfir preached revolution in the concert halls with daring performances. Some say that this short period was the highlight of his career. In 1977, he recorded The Lonely Shepherd with James Last. Zomfir put himself on the world map and since then his career became highly varied, hovering over classical repertoire, easy listening and pop music. Zomfir's big break in the English-speaking world came when the BBC religious television program The Light of Experience adopted his recording of Doina de Jail, a traditional Romanian funeral song, as its theme. Popular demand forced Epic Records to release the tune as a single in 1976, and it climbed to number 4 on the UK charts. It would prove to be his only UK hit single, but it helped pave the way for a consistent stream of album sales in Britain. His song Summer Love reached number 9 in South Africa in November 1976. In 1983, he scored a number 3 hit on the Canadian adult contemporary chart with Blue Navajo, and several of his albums, including 1982's Romance and 1983's Childhood Dreams, have charted in Canada as well. After nearly a decade-long absence, Zomfir returned to Canada in January 2006 for a seven-city tour with the Traffic Strings Quintet. The program included a world premiere of Vivaldi's Four Seasons for Pan Flute and String Quintet arranged by Lucian Moraru, jazz standards, and well-known favorites. In 2009, Zomfir was sampled by Animal Collective in the song Grays on their EP Fall Be Kind. In 2012, Zomfir performed at the opening ceremony of the 11th Conference of Parties to the Ramsar Convention at the Palace of the Parliament in Bucharest, Romania. His first appearance as soloist interpreter in a movie soundtrack was in Vladimir Kosma's 1972 Le Grand Blonde avec un show sur noir, whose soundtrack became a worldwide hit. Another of his notable contributions was to the soundtrack of the classic 1975 Australian film Picnic at Hanging Rock. His other film scores include La Guerre du Petrol Nur Apollo, 1975, and the Moroccan film Badas de Sangre, 1977. He was asked by Ennio Morricone to perform the piece's childhood memories and cockeye song for the soundtrack of Sergio Leone's 1984 gangster film Once Upon a Time in America. His performance can also be heard throughout the 1984 film The Karate Kid. One of Sunfear's most famous pieces is The Lonely Shepherd 
which was written by James Last and recorded with the James Last Orchestra, and first included on Last's 1977 album Ruslan Tehrin Erungen, Memories of Russia, it was also released as a single. The Lonely Shepherd was used as the theme for the 1979 Australian miniseries Golden Soak. It was also featured in Quentin Tarantino's 2003 film and in Nicolas Grosso's short film Doina. His song Fernsalita Lem Agis Cantac de Nunta, Fluttering Green Leaves Wedding Song, appears in the 1991 Studio Ghibli film Only Yesterday. Zomfir was born in Gajti, Romania, on April 6, 1941. Although initially interested in becoming an accordionist, at the age of 14 he began his pan flute studies with Vanna Kaluka at the Special Musical School No. 1 in Bucharest. Later he attended the Cyprian Poramescu Conservatory. He currently resides and teaches pan flute in Bucharest. His son, Emmanuel Theodore, who resides in Montreal, Canada, is also a drummer slash musician. Zomfir has written an instructional book, Trait du Nai Roman, Methode de Flute de Pan, Paris, Chapel S.A., 1975, and an autobiography by Nicu Venterisi Blestem, Blessing and Curse, Arad, Mirador, 2000. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.